How does life happen? This has been a question that has perplexed me, intrigued me, and fascinated me for years. And I'm sure you as a clinician probably have that very same question. Maybe it's not a question that you ask yourself every day, but is it? The full story of health is a narrative that in a lot of ways we're given as a biochemical paradigm. We understand that there are certain reactions that are vital to life's pivotal processes. What if I presented a philosophical thought, a perspective, a new paradigm for the narrative for how life occurs? This narrative grounded in the precepts and the concepts of quantum biophysics. Quantum biophysics is something that may seem like a foreign term to you. It may seem like an amalgamation of physics and biology. It kind of is. But we live in a world grounded in a quantum biosphere. We are reliant on the universal particular nature that really comprises the fundamental unit of existence itself. Quantum biophysics essentially provides a framework and an understanding that you are a body of light and that light emanates from the nucleus of each living cell. We now have a new definition of the orchestration of life itself. With the new fundamental unit of life now being the biophotons, you're then working your way out from the cell to the tissues, to each organ gland system, to the body itself. Our goal with our resonant theory is to empower you in achieving the zero point with each and every one of your clients. What is the zero point, you may ask? It is the harmonic state of being well-nourished, being radiant in every aspect of your life or in your client's life. This is where we have membrane fluidity. We've essentially balanced the mosaic of health. We have an alkaline environment rich in micronutrient density and rich in minerals to ensure balance, creating a protective terrain in so many facets to life's processes. Our theory is grounded in working to support the mineral status of the body, the pH as some would call it. This microenvironment that surrounds the cell is dependent on the mineral composition that lies outside and lies within the cell membrane itself. Ensuring that we as clinicians are looking to balance the alkalinity of the body, we are allowing cellular communication to be more efficient. When you balance the bioterrain of the body and work to support the mineral status inside and outside of the cell, not only are you working to support the cell signaling, the communication between the cellular network of the body, but you're working to support the efficiency of each metabolic process that occurs. Enzymes vital for life's pivotal processes are dependent on a certain microenvironment to ensure that they are efficient and how they ultimately act on each an individual substrate, how they propel the body towards health. Microclimates in the cell, outside the cell, if there's one point that is essentially off in terms of the mineral composition or the microclimate in terms of the alkalinity environment, that process may be less efficient. Many of you as clinicians are familiar with cellular respiration. This is one of the many biochemical pathways that we as clinicians and health professionals are ingrained in learning. We have to know the different reaction types, the different substrates, the different stopping points along the pathway. And many of us know that depending on the climate of the cell, the cell chooses whether or not to go through a lactic acid fermentation or going into a cellular oxidative pathway. This is an example of when you optimize the bioterrain, how you can impact cell health. When the cell itself is in an alkaline rich environment, void of a pH that is lower on the scale, creating an acidosis state, your body is going to reach for cellular respiration as its preferred method of providing fuel. This creates an efficiency in ATP synthesis. This allows radiance to permeate throughout the body and for there to be frictionless ease in delivering nutrients and delivering vital sustenance to the symphony of life itself. What is the optimized pH for the body? Some would argue that the pH of the body actually doesn't shift. The blood pH is so tightly regulated that 
pH should not be monitored in a clinical practice. I would argue that it should be. Urinary pH indicates the metabolic stress, indicates the emotional toll, the environmental toll of a client in every given day. By measuring the pH, you, the clinician, are ensuring an environment of radiance. You can look at markers such as salivary pH. You can look at urine pH. What you look at is of no consequence other than the fact that you are being mindful in how your strategies are supporting the bioterrain of the body and ensuring that the matrix of life is radiant. What influences the bioterrain of the body? Well, we ultimately could start at the soil itself, which translates into the whole food strategies that you're working to support your clients with. It's hard to say that the standard American diet is actually mindful in supporting the alkalinity, the bioterrain, void of nutrients, void of minerals. The foods that we are supplying are lacking sustenance to support and empower a radiant biosphere. As a clinician, the emotional environment of your client, the spiritual toll, the weight 